Hello. Good afternoon. Um, this is Elijah Brown, and um, I'd like to say a very thank you, a big thank you, a massive thank you to everyone that's following me on my page, Live Talk with Elijah Brown, and um, everyone that's been coming on my page and has been liking my pictures and posts and has taken time out to comment. I am really grateful. Thank you very much. My topic today is mind your business. I don't know why I've come up with this topic, but when I go in, you'll understand where I'm coming from. Mind your business. Um, and stop nosing around. I don't know why I've picked this topic, but there's a lot of things that's happened and are happening and will continue to happen. And I'm just trying to like call people together to watch what they're doing and how it's affecting other people's life. Mind your business and stop nosing around in people's life. Um, I notice there's a lot of people, Africans, Nigerians, um, British people, everyone. What I notice in life is we don't mind our business. We like to nose into people's affairs. We want to know what you've eaten. We want to know how you drank. We want to know how you slept last night. We want to know if you're married. We want to know if you're single. We want... Guys, mind your business. If someone wants to tell you what's going on in their lives, they'll ring you, they'll call you. If you're a real friend and they trust you enough, they'll let you know. Stop wanting to know what, why people are not in your gathering. Stop wanting to know why people didn't turn up. Stop wanting to know why there's a pimples in my face. Stop wanting to know why I haven't got a clue to put on. Stop wanting to know why I post something on Facebook. Stop wanting to know um, why, why I put a meme up on my page. Stop nosing. Mind your business. Because you, what I notice on Facebook is people whose life are not perfect, people whose life are worse than yours, want to always remove the mock in your eyes. You haven't removed the mock in your own eyes, you haven't sought your own life out, but you want to sort other people's life out. And that is why some of you, 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 you have problems upon problems in your life, in your, in your journey in life to achieve things because you don't mind your business. Because my mother used to say, when you don't mind your business, you, you, you carry someone else's problem on your head. Mind your business. Stop nosing in pe into people's life. Stop ringing people to ask what's happening in some so, so, so person's life. Mind your business. Mind your business. If something is not connecting to you directly, stop wanting to know why it is happening. If a friend rings you and knows to you that this is this, this, if you don't have the audacity to ring that person to have your facts right, don't know. Just say, oh, thank you very much. If you have your full facts or if the person rings me, I'll get in touch with you. If you don't have full facts, stop nosing. Respect people's privacy. Respect people's privacy. What I mean by that is, if you are my friend and I'm not telling you things, stop assuming. Respect my privacy until I feel comfortable to, to call you and to tell you about it. If I am not comfortable about it, don't ring me. Don't ask about it from me. And if you are so worried about me and you ring me and I say, oh, my friend, um, I don't want to talk about it now. Can you please respect? I don't want to talk about it. Some people come on your wall. They ask you, why did you put this thing up? Or you specifically put it up that, guys, I don't want to talk about it. Um, I will, maybe in future, I will talk about it. But now, blah, blah, blah. And people will still come and say, please, can you inbox me? I want to know what's going on with it. Can you mind your business? No matter how close that person is to you, mind your business. Stop re removing things in people's eyes when you haven't removed your thing in your eyes. You think you know how to talk. A lot of people I see, they, they think they know how to talk so much. I'm sorry, my, 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 uh, other, but, uh, my friends that don't understand Yoruba. It means you have someone else's problem in your head. I don't even know how to, how to, how to dismantle what I've just said. But it's a very thorough word. This world is more spiritual than physical. Koko shit ye shit ye fala no. Wa rogun logun. 
Let's mind our business. Let's stop nosing into people's affairs. Let's stop wanting to know what's happening in their lives. <clears throat> um, so a friend of mine says, the drum, the beating drum. In African, there's a beating drum. We all know there's a drum. And each drum has a song or a, a meaning or a, a, a proverb that goes with the drum. When the drum is beating, what it says to me will be different from what it says to you. So in life, that is how life is. What this drum is saying to me is different what, to what it's saying to you. So therefore, don't conclude for someone and just make stories up. Because the person that's rang you to tell you, to, to tell you these things is what the drum is singing to him or her is what is letting you believe. If you ring me, what the drum is speaking to me is, and what I believe is saying is what I'm going to tell you it is saying. Ilugogo, nkoto sosimi, oyato sing koto sosie. Stop assuming for people. Stop fighting. Stop, stop, stop fighting for, for your friend. Yegbe gyao ni gaja. Tori pe o mo biti gyao ni simbo. O mo koto shele. Ilu ko go jeni. Bi mo shefe ko du mo e. Tori po jore mi. Bi mo shema portray. O ya to si bi o ro she gye gogo gong. La i shepo ba mo o ro me ti wani eni agbo jo eni konda agba o shikani. That it means when you listen to one-sided story, you are a big fool. Not until you assess two parties that are fighting or have a misunderstanding. You don't have a right to just conclude this is what it has, is happening. Because there are some people in life that they don't have a, a likable personality. But trust me, they are better than people who have likable personalities and they are evil incarnate. They are the devil themselves. And they go on Facebook writing, writing Christian quotes and all that. They are evil. Because I'd rather have someone who is smoking and drinking around the streets. Who, 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 who has the love of God him, in him or her. Than someone who is a devil incarnate. That goes to church. That hates his, his fellow human being. And that gossips around. So my, my fellow people. I'm not telling you this is what you are going to live your life. But I'm saying. Mind your business. Mind your business. Stop prognosing into people's life. Stop wanting to know what's happening in life. Stop wanting to know what they ate. Stop wanting to know how, how they are walking. Stop wanting to know where you are no one seeing. You are not to be so gay. Stop nosing. Because fakery is too much on Facebook. When you are copying someone, you don't know what that person is doing. Oh, mobi ashala shalo ya. You don't know if that person is borrowing someone's clothes, putting it on, and taking pictures on Facebook. You don't know if that person cannot even eat. You are copying, you are, you are being sad on top fakery. Mind your business. Mind your business. Tala your bang your bang on your. If someone is rejoicing, rejoice with them. If they are in sorrowful, if they are in sorrow in a sorrow mood, be compassionate with them. Greet them and move on. Stop nosing into people's affairs. That is all I'm going to say now. Thank you very much. Bye bye.